Hi all, today we're using Stackpack's autonomous AI agent to help me deploy the LGTM stack on an AWS EC2 instance. And that's exactly what I wrote here for the prompt. And now it's thinking. So it's asking me a couple of questions, starting with the AWS credentials. I've got that configured locally. And the AWS region doesn't matter for me now. I want the smallest EC2 instance. And finally, I don't want to expose it because I don't have a domain. Okay, so it looks like it follows the best practices and the documentation here because it says that it recommends that I go for the medium size. And that's fine, so let's proceed with that. Let's have a look on the checklist here. So it starts by creating a VPC, then the security group, then the SSH key to access the instance, launch the instance, create and configure Docker, and deploy it. Now, in this step, we're going to create the VPC with the public subnet. It'll create everything it needs alone, the VPC, the subnet, the internet gateway, and then the root table. And all I did is just type in yes. Or you can click on any button that you want. Looks like the US East one is invalid, so it'll create one in EU West, which is fine. And it corrected the command and let's run it again. Yes. And now the first two steps are done and it's going to create a security group and the SSH key pair. Notice how it directly included port 22 for SSH and the other ports for the LGTM stack. Okay, it seems like I already have this key pair, so it's going to delete this and create a new one. Okay, type in yes. Now we are in the step of launching the EC2 instance. Notice how it adds the key, the subnet, and the security group it created earlier. And the command also installs Docker and it gets the IP of the machine so we can access it later on. Okay, and an error occurred, an invalid AMI. Now the cool thing here is it doesn't stop. I don't have to Google the correct one now. It will run the describe images and it's going to get the correct one. Again, it's an error that it can't find an image for 24, so it's going to go for 22, Ubuntu 22. Now we can launch the EC2 instance with the correct Ubuntu and the correct AMI image. And we've got the public IP, so we can access it later. Okay, let's have a look on what happened here. So now it's creating the Docker Compose files for the four services, Grafana, Luki. Okay. And then it creates the config files for the services as well. Okay, so I've got the configuration files ready, the Docker Compose file ready, and now it's time to copy the files to the EC2 instance. So in that, it's used the SSH key. Okay. It copied the files and we're going to deploy it. And we're currently starting the containers. And I see at the end that we've got a Docker Compose PS so we can check the service status to know if any of the containers are not working. Let me see what happens. Okay, the containers are up, but it seems like Tempo has an issue because of the state here. 
it keeps on exiting so let's see what happens okay it's going to run it again and we currently have the logs in order to be able to figure out what's the issue okay i see a permission denied error here and it updated the docker compose to be able to give it the proper permissions and yep we've got the curl to verify that the endpoints are working we've got an error but that's fine Okay, we've got an error again, permission denied. It's exactly the same error. So let's check what it did instead. Hmm, okay. So this time it seems like it modified the Docker Compose to use a volume instead of the directories and made a simpler tempo configuration. So let's see if this is going to fix the permission issue. Okay, it looks like it's working now. We don't have the error anymore. Let's see what happens when it tries to verify that Grafana is accessible. Okay, and now it's running it again. I'm not sure why, but let's just go with it. Okay, so now Luki has an error and it's returning 000. zero, zero. I see the error up there. Seems like there's an error with the config file. Okay, so now it wants to check the logs of Loki specifically. And it looks like something is wrong with the schema of the config file of Loki. So now it's updating Luki's configuration with the correct schema and running everything again. Okay, and we still have an error and it returns 000. zero, zero. Let's try again. Okay, we still have an error. It's exiting and it returns 000, zero, zero as well. Again, we have an issue with the config file. Now at that point, I'm not doing anything. I'm just typing in yes and I'm checking what it's going to do. So what's the fix this time? Okay, it's trying a much simpler config file for Luki. Perfect, we don't have any errors here and everything looks like it's up and running. Great, let's check what's next here. We're supposed to be done, but let's check what the agent's going to do. Oh, okay. 
it's stopping the services and running them again and then at the end it's testing the data source connections because we've got for Grafana the three data sources I think it, it could have just verified the data sources but no problem you're literally not doing anything Okay, great. The connections are there. Perfect, since it responded. And we're going to check it on the UI in a bit once everything's done. And finally, it's checking just the status of everything. So it's SSHing in the EC2 instance, checking the containers. Okay, I feel like we already know that it's working, but let's just keep going with this because we've got no errors in the logs, the containers are up and running. Let's just test it here. I'm just putting in the public IP that I got from the agent. Oh, and done. Great. Let's check the summary of the actions done. So now these are, were the logs, the last step that we stopped at when it was getting all the logs. And everything's returning to 100. Okay, now back to the checklist. It created the AWS infrastructure, the EC2 instance, Docker, created the Docker compose file, and deployed the LGTM stack. And that's how. I can access everything. Okay, now let's go ahead and access it. I'm logging in. And I'll go to connections here, data sources. And all three are already configured. If we click on any of them, we're going to see that it's added by the config file. So that's what the agent created for us. Perfect. So now we were able to deploy the LGTM stack without having to know how to set it up ourselves or write the configuration files for each. The Stackpack's autonomous AI agent did it for us. So let me know in the comments if we should try doing it without Stackpack's AI agent next time or if there's anything else you'd like to deploy. <laughs>